So if you like that nice little fiery showing of the SWC Bushcrafter, and today that's exactly what I wanted to talk about. The primary reasons I made the SWC Bushcrafter was the fact that, like most Bushcrafters, I really do love using ferro rods, but I have a few problems with most ferro rods, and the first being that I, I'm always looking for a way to easily carry a ferro rod, but at the same time, I don't want to jeopardize its security. And what I mean by this is that in the past, I've carried ferro rods in pockets, in backpacks, but I've actually lost them doing that. I'm carrying method that was still just as easy as carrying in a pocket, if not easier, but also more secure. So what the first thing I turned to was carrying it on my neck. And because I wear neck knives, like most bushcrafters again, uh, I ran into some conflicts with that and it was hard to kind of pull it off my neck and strike with it and overall it just became frustrating enough that I didn't really want to carry it like that anymore. So I began to look at more and more ways to carry a ferro rod and I came across this. I really like that paracord bracelet buckle that has a ferro rod in it. There were a few issues I had with it. Number one, the whole fact was that it was still in a buckle, so that meant that you still had to pop the bracelet off and use the buckle. And the second thing was, with the whole ferro rod being in the middle of that buckle, it was a little bit hard to strike, especially with something like the back of a knife. And the third part, and probably the most important part, was the ferro rods that were inside buckles were often very small, not only in length but in thickness so that meant that you couldn't really strike them a lot before they would break so taking all these problems into consideration i designed the bushcrafter this pretty much solves every one of those problems that i had with the bracelet buckle ferro rod kind of problem so once again you still on a bracelet so you get all the awesome paracord of a normal bracelet but i thought that i wanted to put the ferro rod in line with the bracelet so that all you had to do was wear this bracelet and then all you had to do was get a tinder material you could use this to actually pin that tinder material down and then strike it and once again with the striking problem i made this a very long ferro rod so that even even something like this m38 bushcrafter could easily strike this ferro rod and then lastly dealing with the thickness i went with a 3 8 inch ferro rod here so that means that instead of getting hundreds of strikes you're going to get thousands of strikes with this ferro rod and that was something that was really important for me because as a bushcrafter i go out semi-frequently and like to use ferro rods semi-frequently and so i wanted a ferro rod that i could use for thousands of strikes not just hundreds of strikes. That's where I chose the 3 8 inch or thick ferro rod. Now to quickly address this ferro rod just so you guys know this isn't some cheap imported Chinese you know garbage ferro rod. This Firesteel.com's ferro rods are built very well. They spark extremely easy and are some of the best ferro rods I've ever used. So that's why it was a no-brainer for me to choose their ferro rods for this particular bracelet design. This is essentially my answer to the large problem that I've had with carrying a ferro rod easily, but still having it be an effective ferro rod, at being able to be struck by many things, and being able to be struck many times. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick look at the SWC Bushcrafter. I will have a link to this in the description where you can check it out. Make sure to pick yourself up one of these, test it out, play around with it. Summer's right around the bend, and this will be a perfect product to go out and have fun with in the summer. Anyways guys, that's it for now. I'm out.